If you see a fitness coach doing this with their clients, um, or if you've hired a fitness coach and they're doing it with you, or you see anybody else in the gym doing this in general, that is a clear indication that they have absolutely no idea what they are doing. What's up guys, Sean Nalawani, realscienceathletics.com. And in this video today, I wanna to explain one of the absolute worst mistakes I see being made in the gym over and over again. It makes absolutely no sense at all and it genuinely will significantly reduce the effectiveness of your workouts. I see uh, personal trainers doing this with their clients. I see training partners doing this when the other one is performing their set and it's just, legitimately painful to watch. If you're new to the channel and you're looking for straight ahead, no BS fitness advice without all the fluff and gimmicks, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so that you don't miss out on any future videos and let's go over this. So uh, let's set the scene here, okay? Bob is performing a set of barbell bench presses and he's aiming for, uh, let's say eight reps. So the first reps are pretty easy. Rep four and five are a bit more difficult now he gets to rep six and the weight is getting more challenging. The bar speed starts slowing down a bit. Uh, Bob is starting to really dig down deep and uh, push hard for those last few reps. And at that very point, his uh, trusty training partner, let's call him, uh, I don't know, Vince. What's going on guys? Vince sees that Bob is starting to struggle a bit. And so naturally he thinks, well, my uh, training partner is starting to struggle, so that means that I should help him. So Vince puts his hands on the bar and starts assisting Bob with those last few reps. And the harder the lift gets, uh, the harder that Bob is pushing, the more assistance Vince ultimately gives. Uh, they finish off those last three reps and they re-rack the weight, rest, and repeat. Now, this is something that I'm sure you see in the gym all the time yourself. And for probably a reasonable percentage of people watching this right now, uh, this is probably something that you're currently doing in your own training. Uh, whether it's you and your lifting partner helping each other out uh, on the bench press, or maybe one is doing, uh, let's say, leg presses and the other is pushing on the sled from behind, uh, or one is doing leg extensions or leg curls and the other has their hand on the pad uh, helping to lift the weight up and down, uh, or maybe it's overhead dumbbell presses and the spotter has uh, their hands on the lifter's elbows to help press the weight up. To put it bluntly, this is truly one of the dumbest mistakes you can possibly make during your sets. And that's because it completely defies the entire logic of muscle growth. Now, if you're still a novice, then it's completely understandable how you could be making this mistake. Um, you know, you're still learning the ropes, you're still piecing things together in the gym, and it's a natural reaction to feel like as the spotter, you're supposed to be doing something to help out. And you also wanna make sure um, that your lifting partner is safe, of course. But you know, the fact that I see personal trainers doing this all the time, and not just average run-of-the-mill you know, certified personal trainers at your local Planet Fitness, but even supposedly higher level trainers, where they actually have their hands on the bar and they're assisting from the very first rep of the sets. That's where it just really frustrates the hell out of me because it's such an obvious fundamental mistake and it just shows a complete lack of understanding of basic training principles. Okay, when you perform a set, the entire goal of that set is to get to those last few very difficult reps where you are pushing or pulling as hard as you can and the muscle is being challenged right up near its maximum strength capacity. Those are the stimulative reps. Those are the reps that trigger your body to adapt and to build new muscle tissue in response. All the easier reps leading up to that point are only being done in order to get to the point where you're performing those last uh, probably three or so highly challenging reps. That's what actually flips on the growth machinery inside of the muscle. Uh, your body doesn't adapt to things that it can already do relatively easily. It adapts when you present it with a workload that it isn't yet optimized for so that it can become optimized to that workload in the future. So. If the mentality of the spotter is that once it starts getting difficult, that's my cue to jump in and start helping, it's ultimately the most counterproductive thing they can possibly do. It's literally the complete opposite of what is best for the lifter. At the very point in the set where significant muscle growth is about to be stimulated, they're jumping in and making the weight lighter and less challenging, and they are preventing the lifter from truly getting in those last few really stimulative reps. The lifter is right there about to hit that point, and the spotter is actually stopping them from getting there. Now, obviously there are varying degrees to this. Uh, some spotters are 
are worse than others. Some give a ton of assistance way too early and they genuinely uh, destroy the effectiveness of the entire set altogether. And others might give uh, less help to where the set is still stimulative, but it's just less stimulative than it could be. But the bottom line is that as long as the lifter is not in any kind of danger, so the weight is moving along and the form is still solid, then the spotter really has no business at all putting their hands on the bar and assisting with the reps, period. Not only does it make the set less effective, but it can also be distracting as well. You know, when you're focused and you're exerting yourself maximally, and then all of a sudden there's a pair of sweaty hands right in front of your face, that can actually throw you off as well. And then on top of that, it also prevents you from being able to track your progress accurately. If your spotter is giving assistance on every single set, even if it's only a small amount of help on maybe the last couple reps, you have no way of measuring exactly what percentage of the weight you're lifting versus how much the spotter is lifting. And so you can't track progressive overload properly. You don't actually know if your training performance improved over the previous sessions because you don't know how much weight you're actually lifting. So it's just wrong on every possible level. The only real purpose for a spotter would be for safety reasons. Uh, if for some reason you're lifting really heavy on a given set on uh, a more precarious exercise, let's say, like maybe an overhead dumbbell press or maybe on a barbell bench press, where um, there are no safety catches. It's really only a select few lifts where that would even apply. Um, either that or just for general motivational purposes. You know, if you have a training partner and you guys are there to encourage each other and pump each other up. You can um, or if you are a trainer who actually knows what they're doing and you're assessing the person's form and you're giving them certain form cues during the set. But that's really it. Uh, the only exception where spotter assistance would make sense would be for more advanced lifters if they're employing certain high intensity techniques like forced reps or slow eccentrics, things like that. Let's go again! Bring it! But those sorts of techniques should only be used sparingly in the first place and usually only by more experienced trainees. So that's the rant for today, okay? Stop giving unnecessary assistance to your training partner, stop letting them assist you, and if you see a fitness coach doing this with their clients, um, or if you've hired a fitness coach and they're doing it with you, or you see anybody else in the gym doing this in general, that is a clear indication that they have absolutely no idea what they are doing. And if you wanna make sure that you're on the proper path toward your goal physique using a legit approach based on solid training principles, then you can visit seannow.com slash custom, fill out the form there, and I'll send you back a free training and nutrition plan based on your current condition, experience level, and goals. You can click up here for that or use the link in the description box below. When it comes to effective science-based supplementation, you can also visit realscienceathletics.com to check out our research-backed fully dosed formulas to optimize your body composition, training performance, and overall health. The link is also up here as well as in the description box, and you can use discount code YouTube15, which will take 15% off your first order. Here's two more videos I'd recommend watching now. Hit that subscribe button below and the notification bell to stay in the loop on all of my future videos. You can follow over on Instagram as well for more daily tips and updates, and I will see you in the next one.